There is something magical about Nigeria, an energy that keeps pulling me back no matter where I go. Especially when she reckless. Honestly, I didn't even plan to visit this year. But guess what? I'm back! <laughs> it's hard to believe, right? Especially since this is the same place I was warned about visiting back in the days. Look at this. This was my first time ever stepping foot in Nigeria back in January 2021. I had no idea what to expect, but the energy of this place... It grabbed me right away. Let's do a little throwback. Don't go to Nigeria. It is not safe. Don't go to Nigeria. You will be kidnapped. Don't go to Nigeria. The police will hassle you. Don't go to Nigeria. Blah 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 blah. Wow, rewatching this video makes me so nostalgic. I will leave the link to the full video and to my very first visit to Nigeria in the description. Let's get into my current visit. Nigeria has become a part of my soul's journey. It's more than just a destination for me. It's one of my many homes across the world in so many ways. So yeah, you can officially call me Simi Adaobi. <laughs> oh, well, someone gave me the name Simi Adaobi. And you know, it's because of this bond, it's something deeper than I imagined. Good morning and greetings from Abuja, Nigeria. Guys, you can't make this up. Let me show you something. So, I'm staying at this place. As you can see, it's number 9, Casablanca Street. And look at the next door neighbor. This is the High Commission of Trinidad and Tobago. And that's not enough. You can see they have a flag there when they were celebrating independence. I'm not so sure if I can go in, but yeah, maybe next time because this is weekend and the place is closed. But this is the High Commission of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. So maybe on the week, on the week I will come back. Look at that. We need to change that logo. It still has the three the three ships. It still has the three ships. So it's closed because it's weekend. Let me see, Monday to Friday, eight to four. So, okay, so we'll come back on a weekday and see maybe what we'll see or whatever we'll find there. So this is the High Commission of Trinidad and Tobago, right next to where I'm staying. And that's not enough. Let me show you. It even gets more interesting. So let's take a little walk here in Trinidad. <laughs> now I'm saying in Trinidad. So let's take a little walk here in Abuja. And let me show you something else. Something very interesting. Like literally about two steps away. I think let's go this way. Let's cross the road. <laughs> Guess what? 
gives the name of this street where I just got to, which is just literally next to my hotel. This is Nairobi Street. Let's do this. Hello. So I wanna show you, I wanna show you something. This is Nairobi Street. What a coincidence. I'm staying next door, like literally sharing a fence with the Trinidad and Tobago High Commission, and I'm on Nairobi Street. So I can't see the main sign, but you can see, for instance, this is number eight. You can see that's number eight, Nairobi Street. And I'm in Abuja. And I'm in Abuja, so I'm home. <laughs> if, this is a, if this is not a sign, tell me what it is. If this is not a sign, tell me what this is. How can I be staying just next to the Trinidad and Tobago High Commission, which is like 30 seconds walk of Nairobi Street. So this is Nairobi Street here in Abuja. Wow. A very quiet morning because it's a weekend, but I feel home. I feel right at home. Nairobi Street. Let me tell you one thing. One thing about this area that I'm staying, I'm actually very central. This place is called Wusetu, a place that I would highly recommend when you're visiting Abuja to stay because you are literally close to everything. I don't like going too far off the city. Look at this, number four, Nairobi Street. Good afternoon. Happy. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday. How are you doing? <laughs> so, this is Nairobi Street in Abuja. Let's take a little walk and then I'm going to show you my hotel where I'm staying. And we are going to have a day full of activities. I believe if the weather is good, because right now it's kind of rainy season. You can see this. Number two, Nairobi Street. Well, that marks the end of the street. Nairobi Street here, yeah, I can't see the main sign, apart from the ones on the building. Probably the signs came out, the sign came off. But this is a very nice location, like very central to everywhere. If you're looking for a place to stay in Abuja, staying around here is a very, very convenient place. So this is the main street. I don't know, it's called uh, Aminu Kano Crescent. No, I'm not, thank you. I'm good. You say what? Pinatek? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm staying there. Are you staying there? Yeah. Where are you from? Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. How long are you going to be in Nigeria for? Uh, maybe two weeks. Yeah, maybe two weeks. So, how are you finding me? I love Nigeria. Oh, yeah? I do love Nigeria. Yes. You don't mind, can I have your number? <laughs> You'll find me there. I'm a stranger. Yes, stranger danger. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm in Ukano Crescent. So let's go back so that we can get ready for the day. I just needed to show you this before we start the day, before we start exploring. Let's go see my, my hotel first. Let me go and probably give you a glimpse of the place that I'm staying. A lot of times I get people asking me to plug them to places to stay. So here is my plug in Abuja. So 
let's get in i want to give you a little bit tour of how this place looks like i'm going to talk to the manager so she's going to show us around she's going to show us around and probably show you the rooms and the rates so that you can have an idea of where to stay when you come to Trini. <laughs> I almost, say, I almost said when you come to Trinidad. Okay, let's say where you can stay when you come to the Trinidad and Tobago High Commission. If you need a visa or for whatever reason and you're looking for a place to stay, just right next to it. You can see that's the next building right there. So, and this is where I'm staying. So, so let's get in. Let's get a little tour of the place. So I just got the manager here. Let me allow her to introduce herself. Let me do this. She's going to give us she's going to give us a tour. So yeah. Uh, hi guys. My name is Aisha. I'm the manager of Pinatech Suites, Abuja, here at number nine Casablanca Street off Nairobi, off Paraku Crescent, here in Wuse too. So I'll be taking you on a tour. Um, let's see some of our facilities. Right. Please come with me. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is uh, reception area. Hello. Thank yeah, so um, basically we are a 22 room hotel. Um, we have a conference room. This is Ikenga conference room. Ikenga conference room. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. It's, oh. it's a boardroom setting. Yeah. For the seats here are currently 22 in number. Yeah but it can take a maximum capacity of 30 persons. Okay. So we also provide tea breaks mm -hmm. if you would like. So we have a public address system. The projector is over there. Um, pardon me, a projector, then the public address system if you would also like. Um, okay. And let's head on to the restaurant. Oh, so you yes. can come out first. Yes, it has two, <laughs> okay. two entrances. So this is the restaurant. Yeah. yeah, so if you have a little dinner, you want to have a family dinner, you want that privacy, if you do well to um, use our facility. We also have, it gets busier here at the lounge. So we have a lounge, an outdoor lounge for those um, our rooms are non-smoking rooms. So you want to smoke your cigarettes, a cigar, you can come to the lounge. The lounge also has an exit door, so for those who will not be using the rooms, um, you can walk in through the door. Do you, would you like to... It takes us back to the main entrance anyways. Okay. We have to... Yes, yes. So, yeah, so it's the same thing. We're back to where we started. Yeah, back to the <laughs> so, entrance. yes. Yeah. So, yeah. We're back. We're back to the entrance. Right. Sorry about that. Okay. So, from here, yeah. so we can now start taking a look at the different category of rooms. We have about seven categories of rooms in total so we can start taking a look at the rooms from the standard to the deluxe uh -huh. to the executive the super executive mm -hmm. the queen executive and yeah. we have two categories of suites the business suite and the ambassador suite please oh, nice. let's go so can i do my laundry on this facility yes of course yes of course we have an in we have an in-house laundry yeah. so you don't have to bother yourself stress yourself going all the way taking your clothes out for them to get laundered or ironed. You have an emergency meeting, you need your clothes, your clothes to get ironed. We have we provide that service. All right, yeah. okay. All right, so let's see the rooms. Yeah. So this is a standard room. Standard room. Yeah. It so has it has a six by six feet bed. Yeah. Yeah, and the nightly rate is 40,000 Naira. 40,000 Naira. 24 hours AC, um, the electricity is 247. Okay. Yeah. Bathroom and suite. And my working space. I have yes. a place that I can work in yes. and edit yeah. my videos. Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. It's decent. Oh, so this 
So I have to insert the card for yeah. the light to the come. TV. Yes, yes. Oh, so that and it has a smart TV. Uh -huh. You can connect your Netflix, Prime Video, Showmax, YouTube. yeah, YouTube. <laughs> All right, all right. Let me see the bathroom. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So forty thousand in terms of US dollars. That's approximately how much. Um. Do you mind? I have to do the maths. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You can tell us so that you can know. That's <laughs> so I know the exact figure. I think it has to be. It's quite affordable actually. Mm. And this place is centrally located. Yes. It's yes. At the yes. City center, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you have accessibility to different parts of the of the federal capital. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's very easy. We we'll say two, mm -hmm. particularly it's a very popular place in Abuja. So it's very easy to locate other areas from we'll say two. Okay. The accessibility is 100%. Okay, so yeah. let's see how much is 40,000? Yeah, so I'm just going to check that. Um, just a moment. Just a moment. So I love white bedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks clean and neat. Yeah, thank you. And of course, we have some coffee station here. Yes. So 40,000 Naira. Two dollars. Yes. That should be 24.44 US dollars. What? So, so approximately 25 dollars. 25 per dollars night. for this per night? Yes. My goodness, this has to be like... I've been traveling, so this is has to be one of the most affordable places. Yeah, you can so it's imagine. Like you can spend four nights for one hundred US dollars only. Only. Uh, is that inclusive of breakfast? No, no. Uh, you just get your you yeah. Okay. For breakfast, our, our meals are quite affordable, mm -hmm. so you just have to place your order. For we have a restaurant, makes amazing meals, uh -huh. delicious meals. So you just place your order and you get it in your room. All right, can I see other types of room? Yes, of course. All right. This one with me. Yes, the Wi-Fi is perfect. So we call this the Queen Executive Room. Queen Executive you can see it's room. very spacious. Yeah. The bed is a six by seven feet bed. That's big. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. It has an extra double seater, then the single seater chair mm -hmm. for when you have guests. Yeah. So, instead of, you you, know, you, know, you have your space to yourself. It's yeah. very spacious, as you can see. So, people don't have to sit on their bed. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. And, of mm -hmm. course, our no, no. station. For me, this is always very important. Yes, yeah, so that at least if you want to walk it away from videos. home, yes, yeah. you always have this. It's nice. Let me mm -hmm. show the view from this side. It's quite nice and spacious. I like it. Yeah. How much does this one go for per night? This is eighty thousand naira, so double the double price that, of so yes. That's about fifty US dollars yes. per night. Yes. Uh -huh. That's just a glimpse of the types of accommodations available here. They also offer larger and more spacious rooms that feel like private apartments, complete with a lounge and kitchen. If you are interested in booking, I leave a link in the description below. The property offers variety of rooms, all of which are great. The staff are friendly, the rooms are comfortable, and the location is central, making it easy to access everything and everywhere in Abuja. When you book, be sure to mention that African Tigress referred you.
Abuja is the capital city of Nigeria. So our next stop is just, you know, going around the city. But first things first, we need to get settled in. So the things that I normally do when I get to a place is first to get a SIM card because I love to be connected. So we're going to get a SIM card. We are also going to get money. In fact, we're going to get money first, then go get a SIM card. Let's go. From the UK, UK. UK. I tell her come if she wanna see me She love the queen and she love when it rains She say bring out the money from the ATM Tell her mom I'm your ATM In her back she go shopping with your ATM Go loves with your ATM The way back some clothes from your ATM To get some um, Naira I wanna change these US dollars To Naira <laughs> One thing that I was taught the last time I was here, I was told always make sure you take a picture of your dollars, the serial number, before you hand them over, especially if you're going to be changing money in the streets because some people would exchange back and give you like money that's not good and they will say that's the one you gave them. So always have your serial number. So it just our, our car can't even... Yeah. So uh, what's, what's the time? This you should be four. This is a four o'clock prayer. Let me check. Yeah, this is 3.55. So how long does the prayers take? The prayer is like five minutes. Oh. Like three, four, three, four, highest yes, five minutes. So they do it anywhere they are? Yeah, that's, oh, everybody here yeah. will pray in this area. Especially when there's no mocks in this area. I'm uh -huh. not sure there's mocks here. So most uh -huh. of the people working in this area, yeah. they'll just come and pray their four o'clock prayer here. Oh, yes. and there's another one they pray by seven again. Oh, there's even others across the road, the building across the road. Yes. You see them? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So this is their prayer time. But you, as a woman, you can pass, so. but just a curse. If I want to pass now. Why are there no women? Women are not working here. I'm not sure there are female women work, but if they are females, they have to stay. So the women will pray somewhere else. No, they will different. pray the same, but maybe by the, by no. the side. Oh, there's actually some people on the side. But okay, but they are still, there are not women still, yet, yeah. but if there are yeah. women, they don't pray together. Uh -huh. They stay separately. So men and women pray separately. Yes, but the same person leading one prayer, but they pray separately. Who's leading? That one we can, the sound we are hearing. Eh? Who's leading the prayer? The person is inside. Normally, the person is supposed to be outside in front of them. But since there's nobody, that means the person is inside. That's How can they hear him? They are hearing him. Just wait till we hear now. Ah, interesting. Just wait till we hear you, you, you hear I love how. Sound. I love how Muslims are like really committed to their prayer. No, like, they, they would not miss it. Oh. Are you hearing the sound? So is the person in this building or is controlling is multiple buildings? The person buildings? is in this building. There's a mosque there. Oh, there's they a mosque there. I'll show you the mosque. Uh -huh. There's a little mosque there, but it can't contain everybody. everybody. So the person is inside the mosque. The mosque. Leading. But there's a gramophone there. That's why you're hearing the sound. Oh, okay. You're hearing it now. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. See, now, see, people are passing. People yeah. can actually pass. Yeah, you can pass, yes. but you can't. of course you can't drive. Yes, you can't drive. You have to wait for them to finish. So I learned Nigeria's population is about 50% Muslim, 50% Christian. Uh, for now, we can't, we can't say... But it's not like none is too... Like, it's like almost balanced. It's almost balanced. I remember we have traditionalists. They are uh -huh. neither Christian nor Muslim. Uh -huh. But they are not as much as Christians and Muslims. And we have those that are still atheists. Uh -huh. We have atheists in Nigeria, but they are not as much as Christian, we have the, our major population is Muslim and Christian, but we yeah. still have traditionalists, we still have eight, eight oh, like and we still have free thinkers. Uh -huh. There are people they call free thinkers, they are neither Muslim, they are not Christian, they are not atheists, they are not traditionalists, they are just free thinkers. They just think for themselves? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So we had just come from this place <laughs> to get money from a shop, like a yeah. Buru de Change. We call it Buru de Change in Nigeria. You call it Buru de Change. <laughs> yes, that's what they call you it. <laughs> bureau. Oh, a bureau. Okay, it's Bureau, are we? <laughs> yeah, bureau de Change. Okay, see, they look yeah. at that. Yes, you turn. Bar Castle. Yeah. Mm. Bureau de Change in French. Yeah. I think it's actually a French word. It's a French word. Yeah. yeah. 
So basically, almost everybody here, that is the business they do here. Oh, so this, this what's yeah. the name of this area? This is Zone 7, Zone, zone. 7, Zone 6. Uh-huh. Yes, that is the, almost everybody here. That is the work they do. I'm is owned by 100% Muslim. This is just a, just, just a business. But why is it here. that money changing across different countries that I've been to has always been like Muslim, Muslim. thing? Yeah. I don't know. That is like the, most countries I've been to. Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. So Even that is majority of them, that is the business they do here. Uh -huh. Maybe just 1% they are selling maybe clothes, perfume, food. Uh -huh. But 99% of them, they are into money. Money, yeah. Yes. All I see is money, 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 money. <laughs> so there's a lot of money in Nigeria, in this zone. In this zone? Yeah. In this zone, yeah, there are a lot of money. There are a lot of money everywhere. Everywhere. In the country, everywhere. Yeah. You just, I just know the right connect and connect. I think they are done. We can go down now. Yeah, you can see that they are done. So yeah. it doesn't take time. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, you can notice they are not leaving the same time. Yeah. You, you know when they were praying, some were joining Joining them. late. So those ones didn't really start at the same time. So they have to finish their own. Oh, OK. Well, it doesn't take all long. But like one minute, all of them, they are done already. All right. 24. But there's something I appreciate about them is their commitment. Uh -huh. No matter where they are in this world, they remember that I have to pray morning prayer, I have to pray afternoon prayer, I have to pray evening prayer. What do they do if, if they are on flight? They will gather the prayers. Oh, yes. so if you have, if you didn't pray morning or you didn't pray afternoon, you didn't pray evening on. Yeah. You know they pray 5 a.m. They pray 1 a.m., they pray 4, then they pray in the night. That is four prayers a day. Yeah. So if they did not pray any of the prayer, let, let, let me assume you're traveling. Then when you get to your destination, you, you pray all the prayers together. Oh, yeah, so, okay. Yeah. All right. You gather them and pray. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go get a SIM card now. Okay. Ooh, right. So we just came from getting the money. We are going to withdraw it, so they sent it to her account because they didn't have the... Do you call it paper money? Yeah. They didn't have the paper money, so we're going to withdraw it at POS and also get a SIM card because, you know, I have to stay in touch. I, I, I'm addicted to the internet. Like, anytime I'm not connected, I just feel like I can't. So even if I'm not using it, even if I'm not, I can have internet. I'm not online for several hours, but I just feel comfortable right. knowing that I have it. So <laughs> let's go to Wuse Market. I was told they can get a SIM card there. Let's go. I love the streets of Abuja because of how they are lined with trees. trees. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I love that for Abuja. What street are we on? Yeah, I don't know it's Wissam Market. <laughs> Expressway. Oh, it's Oh, we're going to see the name here. Robot Mac. Okay, how about Macaulay? How about Macaulay? It's leading to Wissam Market. Oh, it leads you to the market. That's the biggest market here in Abuja, right? No. The Wuse market. No, I think it's the most organized, not the biggest. Oh, the most organized. Oh. If you go to other local market, they'll be dragging you now. Mm. Like one is trying like... to convince you to buy stuff. Yeah. It's not the biggest, but other markets. But this one is more expensive. Uh huh. No, no, the guy said more does the they look right hand side. Just be going. So we'll be looking on the right hand one. side. There are some people in front. Also, this is back front day for the other side. No, no, now this road. Me, this I, I, I know the place where the guy is. Okay. You could not see them there with Tom. Mm. 
So this is Wuse 1 or Wuse 2? This is just Wuse Market. Wuse Market. No, there's Wuse Zone 1, there's Zone 2. Maybe that's what she's trying to Yeah, so Wuse Market is not in Wuse Zone 1 or Zone 2. It's just in Wuse. There is Wuse on its own. Oh. And we now have Wuse Zone 1, one and Zone, zone two. 2. Zone 4, Abi, even Zone 7. Yeah, ah, really? Every state in Nigeria has a, a color, a different color for their taxi. Taxi, yeah. Yeah, Abuja is green, so all oh, these oh, green are taxis. Green this green. SIM card! These green ones are taxis. Are sure? Just stay inside, though. don't come out. Okay, I'm not coming. Bye, bye, bye. No, I want to see whether or not so open the top. Oh, come, open it up. This by them. Okay. Let's get the SIM card. Madam. Okay. He's bringing the device because they don't just give SIM. It has to be registered to someone. So they want to. Well, it has to be registered to my name. Okay. And they have to use my name so number. The, the, the oh, the, yeah. Yeah, that's just what I remembered. Last time I couldn't get a SIM card because I don't have any. And I'm like, what about tourists? They should have like, you know, a card about for people who are visiting. Mm. Oh, they don't care about that. <laughs> You're not serious. I didn't pay. Don't let me tell it. Anyone. So which one has better internet? MTN. MTN. So we have MTN. There's MTN, there's, there's Airtel, there's Glow. Glow and Nine Mobile. Oh, so this is Airtel. Oh, Glow is the worst. I'm going to get my It's okay. Glow or... I bet any one of them are the same. This one is new. It's Nine Mobile. It's new. Is it new? No. How long have they been in the market? More than 10 years old. More than 10 years. Yes. Oh, really? I'm hearing because about them for the first the time. Yeah. No, it used to More be called... Eti salat, Abi. Yeah, oh. Eti salat. It was actually yeah, changed. Yeah. So they changed to Nine Mobile. Nine mobile. All right. Yeah. Wait, MTN is still our best. Uh, MTN is the best. Um, don't, don't, don't do In that internet that. speeds. MTN. The best. Don't try MTN is the best. After MTN, MTN is Airtel. Airtel. Then Glow and Nine are the last one. Glow and Nine Mobile. Nine Mobile are the last one. The last one. Uh, so what does Nine? What's Nine? Why would so, people who have Nine Mobile? What do they say they love about it? Now I know some of these people. There are numbers they started with, so they cannot do away with this. Oh, a lot of people know them with the number already. Okay. SIM card registration. <laughs> you have to improvise. Okay. My name. Oh. Take photos, take take fingerprint. Yeah. But what if someone is visiting and they don't have an IN? How can they get a SIM card? You can't get the, you you can't get. Get the SIM card. So you cannot get a SIM card? Mm. Because if somebody. anything happens, uh -huh. trace. They can't trace you that you have gone. Trace. Uh -huh. The person they will go responsible. Okay. Yeah. So we also have oh, glow. 
Nine mobile and Airtel. So while we were getting my SIM card, I saw this lady with some interesting drinks and I wanted to try. Hello? It's made from what? It's made from maize. Okay, this oh, one is sorry. tiger nut, Abi. Yeah, yeah. This nut, she says it's not the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one is tiger nut. Tiger nut? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Very nice. Maybe I'll try it. No, no, good idea. Okay, keep one. Let's try it. It's very nice. Oh, you want us to buy one? You want to try now? Yeah. I'll try it. <laughs> it's very nice. How, how much? How much is it? Five hundred. Five hundred naira. Yeah. That's 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 about. Let me see. Five hundred. Thirty cents. So this is five hundred. Okay. There's once no we done. No sugar. Uh uh. Everywhere you see the dollars. Tiger nuts. Is it? It's not milk. Yes, but it's like milk. You know tiger nuts. You know the original tiger nuts. I only know tigress. <laughs> <laughs> Only I wish we just tigress. see the tiger nuts now. Just show me. So this other drink is called Zobo. Oh, Zobo, I know. So, oh, I thought it's Pepsi. So no, this is Zobo. So this is made at home. Oh, they are all made at home. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, so we got the SIM card and she bought me. Money. What did you call this? Tiger nuts. Ti no, in, in the local language. Kunu Aya. Aya? Kunu Aya. Kunu Aya. So I'm going to try Kunu Aya. I want to withdraw it. 100,000. You know, Rich? It is. How much? 100. We need to get some money to pay for the SIM card. Mm -hmm. Eh? Four thousand. Uh, two thousand. Uh, POS. Point of sale. Is that more? You need say two thousand. And one This is like yeah. what we call M-Pesa in Kenya. But this one you're withdrawing in, uh, on using your card, not mobile money. Which one is mobile money? Okay, to transfer to his phone. Yeah. It's no, not if I phone transfer, to phone. it's my hand. Uh -huh. Since I'm with my card, uh -huh. it's better for me to just do it with my card. So because... the person who got the money from, did they put it in your card or on your phone? The person I got the money from. Yeah, the one we had. They put it in my bank account. Oh, they, oh, oh, okay. So I okay. can either use my card or I use my phone to transfer to him, whichever, whichever way works. Okay. But me, I prefer using the card because I might use the transfer. And uh, it might not come to him. We might stand here to the next 30 minutes. Oh, because of poor internet, maybe yes. network. Oh, okay. But this one is faster. He gets it. All right, directly. makes sense. So he's counting our money. So for 100,000, yeah. I paid 200,000. I paid 2,000. 2,000 to withdraw. To withdraw 100,000. 100, yes. Okay. So 100,000 is about 60, 70 there about, yes. Because yes. 1,650 approximately is one US dollar. Yeah. Right? Yes. If I have $1,600, no, if I have a thousand dollars, six hundred dollars. If I had six hundred dollars, I'm a millionaire here. Is it six hundred? No, if you have one thousand dollars, you're a millionaire because when you change it, it will give you one point five million. Uh -huh, but it, all I need is one million to be you're a millionaire. millionaire. Yes. So if you have around seven hundred dollars, you, you become millionaire. <laughs> but in the next moment, you might not be millionaire because something your, small will cost a lot of money. It lot, costs a lot of money.
You know, last time I was, this is this is the new currency. This is the new currency. Yeah, last time I was here, this wasn't here. It was only the. This is the old one. Yeah. Old Thank goodness they are allowing use of both because I did remain with some of the old one. Okay. If they say they are facing it out, I will be left with money I can you never use. Your museum. <laughs> so I want to try the kunu aya. I hope I will like it. I'm kind of sensitive, especially milk. I'm scared of milk. It's natural. It's not milk per se. It tastes like... Okay. It tastes like a very watered down milkshake, kind of. Let me shake it. So this is tiger, tiger, tiger what? Tiger, tiger nuts. nuts. Tiger nuts. Tigress nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you have ever tried this. Let me know if you have ever tried this. And if you try this and what are the benefits of this drink? I just got it. Someone was selling it in the streets. So I decided to give it a try. It's not very sweet. It's not very sour. The taste is just bland almost like water for me <laughs> it has no taste <laughs> aren't you aren't i'm an you african now so it's our drink so you, you like it i love it oh you love it i find it to be bland it's more natural because they don't add sugar oh maybe tiger, that's why yeah, they don't add sugar tiger nut is sweeter and some people add coconut to it uh-huh so I don't know if they add coconut, coconut, just tiger nut and water uh -huh. finish, and it's so, and it's more expensive. Oh, yes, you can get uh, Zobo you saw there was yeah. it's hundred naira, but this oh. one is five hundred naira. So it's a quality drink. Yes, a quality. I'll drink. have to research the benefits. It must be having a lot of health benefits. Yeah, it has a lot of health benefits. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Meat and egg. Yeah. All in one pot. All in one pot, my sister. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's a lot. My brother, my handbag. Thank you. God bless. You. Oh, this is the entrance to the market. To the market. Yeah, to also market. And the exit. No, this is not the exit. This oh. is the mini exit. The other exit in front. Yeah, this is the main. The one that comes from this side. Yeah. Oh, there are many. Okay, for pass you. Yeah. You yeah. can dance. This place. Oh. oh, wow. I like how it looks like that view because uh, it looks nice. One of my favorite things about Abuja is the greenery. And all the streets are lined with trees and the roads are wider and less traffic. I love that for Abuja. <laughs> This small 
you can see it from all over. Yeah, the central mobs. Wherever you are in Abuja, whichever, as long as you are at a, a place that's raised a little bit, you'll always see this mosque. Central Mosque. I just love how green, green it is. I really love that. Is it from Abia State? Yes, Abia State government. Oh! The like bridge state has a house. Oh, so the house is the name of the state. So there's Lagos house. Yes, yes. Oh, Bank So this is the big flag we were seeing the other time, or is it not? This is another one. Another one. Oh. So, Central Park, not yes. City Park. Central, Central Park. Hi guys, this part of Yaba that is on period. We uh -huh. are Central Park today, just coming to have fun. Um, African Tigress is too serious. She needs to loosen up. She's thinking Nigeria is business, business, business. We don't have fun. My sister, you are thinking <laughs> it's only Lagos that they have life of the party. We also have life of the party in Abuja. Just our own is soft. Uh, soft life is soft. Yeah, we do soft life. We uh -huh. don't do, yeah, yeah, you understand. Hey. So this is just the entrance of the Central Park. There are so many beautiful places. There are restaurants, there are places for kids. This oh. is the place for kids over here. They swim, dance, anything you want your children to do. But you actually pay a token before entering. Uh -huh. The last time I was here, it was 5,000 Naira per kid. Uh -huh. But I don't know how much as of today because you know fuel is increased now. Yeah. So I don't know how much now. Then if you want to go and ride the car for adults, uh -huh. it used to be 10,000. Yeah. Come and see whether you can see through here, but I don't know how much it is today. Okay. So the price usually changes. 
for this. Oh, this is the place so for... you can bring your kids to play yes. all day. So when you pay that money for the kids, that five, they will do everything from the... morning to night. Okay. With that amount of money, they will play all the play, enter, go, go, go. Uh-huh. But for the adult, they have time. Yeah. Yeah, if you pay that, then used to be 10 k's about an hour. Yeah. But I don't know how much now. I don't know how many hours now, if, if it has changed. Yeah. You know, one thing I've noticed, mm -hmm. a lot of Nigerians, including you, mm -hmm. are saying fuel is high, fuel cost, My and sister, all that. Mm -hmm. Your fuel is less than one dollar per liter. Yes. But some countries, people pay like three, four dollars, two dollars. Because there are money in that country. There's money in Nigeria. There's money in Nigeria, lots of money. Most billionaires <laughs> in Africa are Nigerians. <laughs> Yeah, but the money is not circulating. Maybe it's just one place. Uh -huh. Let me ask. As the day wound down and the soft glow of the evening was setting in, we took a relaxed tour around the park, which felt like a perfect spot for team building and, you know, just a fun day out with friends. The place was alive with energy, beautifully laid out with wide open spaces, unique restaurants offering delicious meals, and even a dedicated section for kids to play and explore. The atmosphere is warm and inviting, making it easy to see why it's a go-to destination for families, friends, and colleagues alike. You want to learn how to draw? No, you do it as a way to relax your mind. You're not doing it for business. Yeah. Why are you helping us to draw? Sit. Oh, it's not sit. It's sit and paint. Well, she, she's not sipping now. No, sit. It's sit, not sip. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. 6,000. 6, so whatever you draw, you go with it. Oh, nice. But it takes time, right? We can check the upper side. Yeah. Oh, ask, ask, ask. Can we see up? Oh, okay. I love the ambience. I love, love the ambience. It's, it's my kind of vibe, my kind of place. So the down. Go for reservation. Oh, someone can make reservation online. Okay. And you know these are actually trees they did not cut, like they've used the normal, the normal trees. After a long day of exploring the park, we decided it was time to wind down and find a cozy spot to relax for the evening. The day had been full of activity, so we were eager to discover a place where we could unwind, enjoy a good conversation, and soak in the peaceful atmosphere. With that in mind, we set out in search of a comfortable, laid-back setting to end the day on a perfect note.
it's not like all the time. Some just, you know. You won't, even, you won't even want to capture again. You so just want to. Like you want to do like a boat cruise. If you want to do oh, boat cruise. So the boat you saw was okay. So, yeah. So but you're going in here. Yeah. Want to do boat cruise? You just. Good evening. So the restaurant is up. But if it's not nice, we can still go to that one that is in the middle of the town. Okay, let's see. Let's just see, Rabbi. We can have something. We can have something here. So what's the name of this place? It's called Jake's Jabi Boat. This is Jabi Boat, Boat Club. Club. But the restaurant is called Jake's Club. Ah. So I don't know. Let's see it first if you like Yeah, it. let's see. Upstairs. Go work out. We work out well. well. <laughs> you are this your brokey there, eh? you know. Let's go. So this is the let's see what they say view pass. Eh? Eh? So you'll be viewing the ocean. The ocean oh, lake. <laughs> lake, sorry, it's the ocean. <laughs> but just that. The other one, if you are like in this middle of a town, I think that one is still. So this is where the people come to get bought. Yes. But there's up here, you can climb up. Oh, uh, but this is where they come to to get bought to, to pay for your boat. It take you to the other side. Uh huh. That is where the mall is. Yeah, take it to the other side of the mall. Okay, it's okay. The place is okay. It's nice, but I think the other the other place is more classy. Yeah. Yeah. And after a long day of workering. <laughs> you want somewhere classy and relaxed, relax. free, maybe some jazz music or some, you know. See your jean trousers. Yes, how you can use your jean trousers. Which one has better ba bam bam? That's better bon nyash. Bon. Oh, you are not serious. It's different, different bam bam they give us. But that one look neater. These two look neater. They look neater. Neater yeah. bam bam. How you can recycle your jean trousers. Is it raining? That's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna sit here, but I wanna take some photos here. Dinner o'clock, I'm having fried rice, seasoned <laughs> beef, and what are you having? Fries and milkshake. I'm having lemonade. And I love your background. There's something beautiful behind you. Oh, yeah. Take pictures. Yeah, we'll take some pictures there. So yeah. let me enjoy my food. I'm honestly so tired. I'm not even sure how I'm going to finish this vlog. I'm just so tired. <laughs> Let me eat you fast. Finish it tomorrow morning. <laughs> I finish it tomorrow. So I just show them my food. They see, you don't have to see me eating just now. I ate it all and finished everything. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new. Let me know what you'd love to see from Nigeria this time round. Don't forget to hit the like button and share. I always say sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this episode and I'll definitely see you on the next one. Until then, bye-bye. I look so tired. Mm -hmm.